Hey Hawks, welcome back to Hawk Nation TV. Today is Friday, January 31st, 2020. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance to the American and Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. You may be seated. Teachers and staff, if you would like anything to be announced here on Hog Nation TV, email us at hognationtv at gmail.com. Seniors, are you 18 or will you be 18 by March 3rd? If so, you can register to vote in the primary election on March 3rd. Mrs. Johnson in the library will be registering people to vote next week, January 27th to the 31st. Don't miss your opportunity to have your vote count. The Hendrickson Prom Fashion Show is coming up. Anyone is welcome. The fashion show will take place Thursday, February 20th, 2020 from 7 to 9 p.m. in the pack. For any questions, email hhspromfashionshow at yahoo.com. Students, interested in joining the brand new Spanish NHS Club? It's an honor society that acknowledges all Hispanic or native speakers and their accomplishments within high school and Spanish classes. You must either be a native speaker or must have taken a Spanish class. For more information, join the Remind Texas code at SHH2020S to 81010. You can apply through the Google Doc that is being sent through the Remind or go to any Spanish teacher classroom to sign up with them. If you have any more questions, ask the sponsors, either Coach Castro and Portable 2 or Senor Macias. If you are a current sophomore or junior and are interested in being in PALS, there will be a PAL informational meeting on February 7th at either 8.30 a.m. or 4.20 p.m. in room B111. Please attend this meeting to see what is expected of you. Make it a great day, Hawks, and remember, attitude is a choice. Kobe Bryant is the reason I keep a Mamba mentality, mentality on me at all times. Uh, he's one of the only professional athletes that actually grinded for he has. Everybody, everybody nowadays wants to take the easy way out. Kobe always grinded. He was in the gym 24-7, perfecting his craft, and still made time for his family. So, RIP Kobe, you will be missed. So, Kobe was my favorite professional athlete. I watched him drop 60 in his last game against the Jazz. You know, he did everything he really set out to do. He split up both of his jerseys when he was number eight and number 24. He outscored more than 91 Hall of Famers. So, I mean, in my opinion, he's the GOAT. I don't care what anybody says. He's my favorite athlete of all time. All right, this is uh, Coach Saunders. Um, I know everybody heard of the recent tragic passing of uh, NBA legend Kobe Bryant, uh, his daughter, and several others. Um, I just want to speak to it um, personally. Um, because Kobe Bryant was a big inspiration to me growing up and you know, obviously as I played in high school and college and eventually became a professional athlete, um, I really looked to him and um, he inspired me to be great um, on and off the court. Um, and I hope that um, everyone, whether you know him or not, um, can really look back at his life and what he stood for and I really go out there and inspire All right, others. So hey, uh, Kobe Bryant. Um Real sad what I heard on Sunday because he's my age. So I grew up with Kobe Bryant. Like when I was in high school, he was in high school. When he went to the NBA, I was just in college and watched him uh, win a lot of championships. And I just like him because he had that killer instinct and he just wanted to get better every day. So real sad to see that he uh, passed away unexpectedly. Kobe. 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 February is Black History Month. We want to start the month off with clips from a documentary tribute to the courageous Tuskegee Airmen of World War II, narrated by actor and aviator Morgan Freeman. Tuskegee, Alabama. 300 miles from anywhere. More dust than the whole state of Kansas and hot enough every day to melt a man's soul. Seventy years ago, Tuskegee was a launching pad for the dreams of some very special young men. Men who served their country with honor and represented their families with pride. Men who helped write history and wrote it large. They were all just kids back then, 19, 20, 21 years old, full of fight 
and ready to do whatever it took to find their way into the sky. Their country needed them, and they would not be denied, despite the fact that they were unwelcome, unappreciated, and very much underestimated. With it, the airmen from Tuskegee patrolled the skies over Europe, clearing pathways for our bum groups and protecting them as they went about the business of helping win the war. They were called the Red Tails, because that's how they painted their planes, and they carried out their duties with a vengeance, flying more than 15,000 combat sorties, downing more than 100 enemy planes, and earning some 150 distinguished flying crosses. One of the Tuskegee Airmen will tell you history is of no value if we can't learn from it. It is the deeds of the Tuskegee Airmen that have helped us learn from the past and through it forge a brighter future. They've taught us determination against adversity, courage in the face of hatred, and belief in one's self, despite being given the slimmest of odds for success. As their motto goes, remember the Tuskegee Airmen. Whatever your dream is, no matter how big, work to make it real. And in so doing, you will succeed. All right, so, hey friends, two things today. I got my Super Bowl prediction. I'm gonna say the 49ers beat the Chiefs 27 to 20. So uh, we'll see if I'm right about that. Also Hawks, we're having our second annual job fair. So dust off your resume or make a resume because we're gonna have tons of employers hiring for summer jobs uh, around the Hendrickson area. We're also going to have some other people talk about long, uh, you know, lifelong careers that you can have. We're going to have lawyers, doctors, all sorts of different uh, people you can talk to and think about what you want to be when you grow up. So February 14th, bring your resume, find yourself a summer job.